Hey guys, and welcome back to Prototype. Last time we spent the whole video uh, tutorialing your asses off, and now we're actually playing the game. And now we're able to jump clear of this gate. <laughs> we are and tracking over. No, no, no. No, thank you. <laughs> Get out of my way. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. That's really fun. Just run through a whole crowd of people, just shoulder checking them all. It's great. Okay. So, um, obviously, the city is far different than how it was in the opening scene. Um, we are nowhere near as fast. We don't have all of our powers because that whole opening bit, that was 18 days in the future. So, we've gone, net, gone back 18 days. And we don't really have the super duper health. We don't have all the powers. We don't have, uh, we don't really have anything. So yeah. Unfortunately. Woo! This is good. Nice. Oh. Whoa, nice. Catch. What are you gonna throw at me next, huh? What do you want from me? Okay, so now they're going to teach you how to target and walk on and stuff. So, yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, I got it. Oh, now it's telling me to throw. I can't believe what I just did. Okay. Yeah, now they're telling you how to run and climb up walls and stuff. And, uh, I don't know if you had noticed, but the helicopter dropped those big red slash pink orbs. Uh, you want to pick those up. I believe those are called evolution points. So, yeah. Oh, okay, up there then. Um, they're called evolution points. And you can, uh, one, you can use them to heal. If you're at low health, they'll heal you. But, along with healing you, they also, um... They also give you uh, points you can spend on getting like upgrades and stuff because you have to upgrade and buy a lot of your powers and stuff. And a lot of your optional powers, you have to buy them. So, yeah. Now I gotta kill them too. Okay. <laughs> Got plenty of air conditioning units. <laughs> cool. Wall, wall, wall. See, now that. See, pick it up. And there you go. 3,085 EP evolution points. Oh, I can't charge the throw. Wow. Oh, I missed. Okay, fine. But yeah, as you can see, there's no fall damage at all. You just fall and leave a huge shock wave, which is awesome. I love it when things do that. It reminds me of uh, playing the game. I don't know if you guys ever played it. There was a game for uh, a long time ago. It was called Incredible Hulk Ultimate Destruction. It's basically the same thing. The same kind of game as this, except you're playing as the Hulk. Uh, there's a lot bigger stuff you gotta deal with. Giant robots and shit. Ooh! It's not happy. like me. Alright. Alright, so here begins a very large, or very important uh, aspect of the game. The ability to disguise yourself and consume people. So yeah, you can consume any creature to gain health. So yeah, and you uh, regenerate a little bit of health if you avoid damage for a time. So, 
Uh, you can't be left at like 1 HP. If you get down to like 1 and then you avoid damage for long enough, it might regenerate up to like 20 or 30, something like that. So, you press circle to grab them, press triangle to consume, and yeah. Report! Okay. Fucking goose stepping motherfuckers. Kiss your mother with that mouth. Roger, twenty two fifteen Christopher Street, apartment fifteen A, got it. Saddle up, you got a CP. Move it. My sister. He knew where she is. I know where she is. I need to find her. Dana. Okay. So that that introduced two different um two different things. Dana. So uh, hopefully she'll be able to tell me something. Anything. There we go. Okay, so down there we have the mini map, and I don't know why I'm coughing, but we have the mini map and we have the disguise that's available to us and uh, just me. So if you press the D-pad to the left, you'll select the the uh, you know the disguise that's available to you on the left. So. Um, if I press it to the left now, and you see how it's a soldier's helmet, I'll assume the disguise of a soldier. And then, since it looks like Mercer's face, or Mercer's head, I'll assume the disguise of Mercer. Now, down there below the the selected guys is a, uh, like, a detection meter. So, right now, I'm in view of enemies. And because it's yellow, and, and because it's yellow, they're not attacking me. They can just see me. And if I was Mercer, they'd be shooting me, and it'd be red. And then, once they start attacking you, that whole bar will fill up with, uh, I think it'll fill red. And then, as you escape, you need to, you know, put distance in between your, uh, the people coming to kill you, and then you need to, uh, lose, you know, you need to lose them. And then, over time, it'll go down and down and down, and once it reaches the end, uh, you'll be safe again. So, it's basically just a stealth system. So, it's kind of cool they actually added a stealth system to this kind of game, although it is fairly simple, you know, it's just eat a soldier, run away, and then, yeah. Now, another way you can do that is, um, no, oh, whoops. Soldiers. If they know who I am, they probably know who she is. I need to get to a good viewpoint and scope the area out. Okay, now. You see how the um, soldier's head is in a uh, little circle there. Um, when you're ever, if you ever get into combat in any of your disguises, so if I were to get into combat in this soldier's disguise, it would, uh, that the circle with the soldier's head would fill up red. And then if you follow the same method I described before, you know, escaping, taking enough time, and then, you know, waiting for it to go away, then your stealth meter will, you know, go back to normal. Now, if you have another disguise that's not actually, you know, I'll probably just show you here. Go as Mercer. This is cool. Okay, so uh, you're a soldier, so here. Kill you. Okay, so now disguise. There you go. It shows you the disguise meter. Okay, when shutters open, you're being watched. It was closed. You are unseen. Okay, blah 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 blah. Okay. So, now that, as you can see, it's all red, it's all charged up, and everything. So, they can currently see me, and they're currently attacking me. Now, if I run out this way, boom. If I just swap disguises when I'm out of range, ow. If I swap disguises while they're out of range, I'm good. See what I mean? So, there is actually kind of like the old... Why doesn't he just change the bodies? You know, like if you could change your face, you know, just run around the corner, change your face, and then you're good. You can do that in this game. It's pretty cool. Now, 
for some reason, they don't really mind <laughs> if you, like, jump a million miles into the air. They don't really mind that. They don't mind you running so fast that you're like a blur, but yeah, <laughs> it's pretty cool. All right. And oh, so he's always got to look around. It's like, oh shit, is anybody watching me? No. Okay, good. Get off me, Dana. I'm not gonna hurt you. <laughs> I'm not gonna hurt you. I just punched a hole in that guy's chest. Jesus. I need your help. <laughs> Jesus. I knew something fucked up was going on at Gentech. What the hell happened to you, Alex? I've been researching that whole fucked up organization for weeks. I was poking around to get you information. Don't you remember? You wanted to find out what was going on at the highest levels at Gentech. Anything about the director of research? Do you Are you okay? Do you know what happened? I, I haven't even seen you in five years, not until you show up at my door last month. Is there somewhere we can go? Yeah, I, um, I know a place. Okay. It also doesn't help that I have no memory. But then again, I died, so, yeah. So come in. It's, uh, it's a friend's place. They're gone for a year. Patagonia or something. Any idea what this all means? No, but I'm gonna find out. I mean, this is a story of the century, so somebody's gotta know what the fuck is going on here. You know, they were waiting for me at my place, so they're most definitely yours. Where do I live? There. You'll be here when I get back. It's best you stay put. They'll probably come in the city for both of us. Yeah. I'll be here. Okay. Uh, so we have actually saved our sister. It usually, usually in games like this, like, oh, well, shit, they're already dead, you know? Okay. So, oh, hey, is that DC over there? DC Comics? I couldn't tell. All right, so you get EP. Oh, that's fun. I like that. You get uh, EP for completing missions, and then you also see the total military expenditure. So, like, how much damage you've caused. That's kind of cool. I like that. Now, I don't believe that is um, expenditure per mission. I think that's total. So, if I do another mission and I only do, like, 10 million, it'll show 90 million instead. So, yeah, they're already at $80 million spent and 21 casualties. Okay. Is that DC Comics? Uh, yes, it is. Me. They think they're in control. But they have no idea what I'm capable of. They can't stop me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix the system, man. I'm gonna rage against the machine, and then I'll, you know, it's, oh god, so mopey, so, so dark and gritty. God, I'm Batman. Except I'm like a, 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 a tentacle monster Batman. Whatever. Anyway. Woo! Boom! Aww. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Alright, now. Uh, let's see. Pause, and we can go to... Uh... Oh, I can't upgrade yet. Weird. Okay, well. Um, over here, uh, this is the whole area you can go to. This is the whole game. It's actually not as big as I remember it being, but whatever. Uh, this is your objective, and these over here... These are areas that are controlled by the military. So when you find these circles, smack in the middle of the circle is a military base. Uh, I'm pretty sure that they have a like a mark on the map, but for right now you can't do anything about them, so just avoid those areas because they're completely controlled by the military. I mean, you can go there if you want, but it's just not, uh, not very safe. Woo! Alright, God, I, I love... I love open world games like this. It's really fun. I love having superpowers, you know? Because everybody wants superpowers, right? You want to be able to run super fast and have, like, super flying and super eating people and looking like them after you eat them. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe just me. Boing! So, yeah, this is uh, Central Park. Oh, shit. That's right. You can't actually jump in the water. But you don't die instantly. So, this whole point... Uh, wait a minute. Uh, this... All right here. 
you know, this central park. So, let's see. Just that small amount of map. I'm gonna see how long it takes me to run from point, you know, from one side to the other, just so you can get a sense of the scale. Oh, did I just jump on that guy's head? Oh, I feel like I did. Do, 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 do. And then there are collectibles to get, so, um, I believe... No, there's not one there. I don't remember exactly what they look like. I think they're blue orbs instead of, like, the red ones you normally find. Oh, no! Oh, here we go. And I think you jump to the nearest land, so, yeah. It's not gonna send you back where you came. Thank God. But, yeah. So, yeah, I'm now, just now, at the edge of Central Park. That's how long it took me to travel. So, just this little area, right here, from here to there. It took me that long to get from here to there. So the game is, it might look small, but I guess it's a lot bigger than I remember. Either that or I'm super slow right now. I'm probably just really slow. So, well, I mean, slow comparatively, you know what I mean. Okay. So, going over here. I, I don't remember exactly what happens. Oh, by the way, you can just, like, run over everything. And think of it kind of like uh, the movement system in Assassin's Creed, where, uh... If you just hold a button, you just run over everything. You see what I mean? I'm not even pressing a button right now. I'm literally just holding forward and R2 to run. That's it. Boom. Okay. And we're here. Objective complete. <laughs> just go from point A to point B. My home. Target is in the building. Target is hot. Light it up. I like how nobody even looks. It's like, uh, whatever. Windows blowing up, people He's falling the from the sky. It's normal. Wait, why are you there? You think it would just be done with a phone call? Okay, so now... God damn, that thing's not moving! Oh, in the open! Screw you, I'm out of here! All Sigma units converge on Central Park for immediate extraction. Okay, so... As you can see, there's a helicopter that's getting closer and closer to the extraction point, and you gotta get there first. And you gotta get the guy that was in that tank, like the, the suit. There you go. Now that I'm close enough and I've beat the helicopter here, I can actually do stuff. Okay, so. Uh, for now, we have to use a missile launcher to use a, or to get into that tank, unfortunately. So yeah. Woo! That was close. See ya! Woo! Go wall wall! Oh my god. Got you now. Troll wall. Alright, get over here. Alright, now. Oh! Whoop, 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 whoop. Hello! Nom. Doctor, try to keep the discussion high level. We need to know what we're dealing with on the ground. Its effect is variable. When it does manifest, it makes the Idaho strain look like the common cold. I don't need to remind you gentlemen how close we came to the point of no return in Idaho. Mercer's body is a bomb, filled with this weaponized pathogen waiting to go off. And now it's loose in the city. Bring it in, no matter what it takes. I'd say dead or alive, but I'm not sure if those classifications fit Alex Mercer any longer. I'm pretty sure you don't really want me alive, because I'll kill you. Okay. So. 
This is the web of intrigue, and as you can see down there on the bottom left hand corner, all those little dots, every single one of those little white dots, that is an enemy that you can consume and learn backstory about. So yeah, down there you can see web of intrigue, 2% complete. I think maybe there's 100 people. That would be kind of nice if they just made it that way. It's like, oh, okay, it's 1% per person. So yeah. Uh, consuming web of intrigue targets unlocks links to new targets to locate and consume. Each node is connected to other nodes by stran uh, strands. I thought it said stranos for a second there. Weird, weird font. This represents a relationship between these web targets. So yeah. Oop. So now, when the memory is playing, press X to skip the movie. Okay. So there. Okay, good. All right. Preview node. Hunt the person and consume them to unlock the memory and other notes. So yeah. So press uh, select to enter or leave it. Okay, revisit the web of intrigue to replay and do I other shit. What he saw and know what he knew. His memories are my memories. Okay. So it's a pretty effective way to uh, heal and fight if you just consume everybody because if you consume them you heal and you kill them at the same time so shut up man you're fine um it's a fairly effective way to fight is to just uh grab people consume them you know endlessly okay so yeah there you go 83 million so i did three million dollars worth of damage there and we have unlocked two events so that's cool Revenge was the only clear thought in my head. The only one I could call mine. I knew Gentech was the key. It made sense. I'd worked there. I'd had Dana investigating its operations. And then there was Blackwatch. Whatever had changed me, erased my past. Must have started there. I thought if I could find out who was running Gentech before Blackwatch erased them too, I could find my past. What did you think that would gain you? Answers. I wanted to find out what happened to me. The reason. Someone to blame. Someone I could punish. To tell you the truth, I never thought I'd find her. I wish the hell I never had. I do like the way this game's story is told, though. Mercer is kind of a... Um... He's a fairly generic, uh, character in terms of his motivation and, like, the way he talks and shit, but it's still pretty damn entertaining. I love- I really do like this game a lot. So, um, right now, uh, let's see here. Can I upgrade now or no? I really hope- Aha! There we go. Upgrades. Finally. Okay, so, um, uh, right here you have powers, which is basically, like, entirely new things that you can do. So, you can have, like, a shield. You can do, uh, movement. So, you can, um, you know, you can increase your speed. You can increase how high you jump. You can give yourself air dash. You can give yourself the critical mass ability. So, um, critical mass mode for increased attack damage and the ability to deploy devastator attacks. And then you can get the flying kick, sprinting grab. That's a really useful one. I'm going to pick that up right now, actually. All right, sprinting grab allows you to pick up objects or enemies while on the run. Very useful. Now, um, I believe grab and throw upgrades. Now, you see these uh, little bars up there. Um, you see how there's like one that's flashing yellow and there's three more that are dark? That means that there's a total of four upgrades that you can get for this ability. So, that one, um, those are air upgrades. And this is grab and throw upgrades. So that means there's five different grabbing and throwing upgrades that you can get. So yeah, it depending on the kind of uh, depending on the kind of power that you have highlighted, it's gonna do different things. So like for example, this one gives you the disguise power. Uh, it might there may be one that's like increases the amount of health you get through consuming. You know what I mean? So yeah. It really just depends on the kind of uh, power you're looking at. So, for example, defensive powers. That means if I get shield, there's one more defense-oriented power. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to get the air dash. 
you're gonna get a lot of movement stuff and as you can see uh, when you get some of these they will unlock others so I can get the glide already which is really good I'm gonna get critical mass okay critical mass is a game-changing upgrade allowing you to turn excess health into in it <laughs> into enemy body count as you consume opponents your health will pass the regular limits and you enter critical mass once in critical mass you can trigger your most powerful techniques devastator attacks to eliminate large groups of enemies or annihilate powerful foes with just a single attack so there you go and right here you get adrenaline surge uh, the ultimate survivability safety net as your health is almost gone you gain a moment of invulnerability and access to a single devastator attack that's really really useful okay so there you go. We're running a brief moment of vulnerability and the opportunity for one free Devastator attack. Combine both of these advantages to turn the tables on your foes and finish them before they do the same to you. So yeah, that's really, really helpful. So these are going to be abilities that increase or interact with the critical mass. So it might be a bonus to how much critical mass you can have or just something else that involves the use of or implementation of critical mass so there you go god damn I'm well spoken anyway <laughs> anyway um, so we got the air dash I didn't get glide I should have but that's okay boom now uh, we're gonna go and what time is it? 26 minutes good lord yeah evolution points I know thanks I just explained all of that god damn get out of my way all right so gonna go and get to this um, thing now you can air dash literally every time you hit the ground see air dash. oh shit okay for yes I know I'm in free roam mode thanks so air dash okay and now land air dash land air dash so every time you hit the ground you can air dash again now uh, there are little events because there's always little events in these kinds of games so yeah, we're going to do a little event at some point, and it looks like... Oh, there it is. Okay, I couldn't quite tell where the hell I was going. Woo! All right, so this is just uh, movement eavesjumping. So there's different kinds of events. There's ones where you, uh, you know, you run through shit. There's ones where you kill shit. There's lots of different kinds of events. But for right now, the only two we have unlocked are movement. So next time, we're going to do those. So see you then.